Hello everybody, and welcome to Doki Doki Literature Club. So I've heard a lot about this game. I have not played it myself at all. Um, funny story. So I was recording to the moon to finish it off to upload. And for some reason, I don't know what I did. But the videos were paused. Like you couldn't see what was happening. Um, like you heard my voice, but the picture did not, the, the video did not continue. So, unfortunately, um, Finding Paradise is deleted. It's done. You would not see me playing anymore, unfortunately. And I really enjoyed that game. I mean, I know more, but you don't. So, I highly recommend you check out Cryotic from Part 5 to Part 7. Uh, those last three episodes would be everything you missed. Um, and he's way more funny and way more interesting than I am. So, if that interests you, then you should definitely go check that out. However, today we get to hang out with some cute girl, anime girls. Love, anime girls. Fun, weeboo time. But, uh, um, all I know about this game is that it gets, it gets messed up later. Um, and that is not your ordinary, typical dating sim as you might expect it to be. So, uh, whatever that means, let's get right into it. And this does have replay value. I have not decided if once I get whatever ending I get the first time playing it, if I'll do uh, a, a, diff a different endings check, or if I'll just leave it with my first initial impression and leave you guys to play it yourselves to get the other endings. Um, but, I mean, it's free. You don't have to pay for it. So, I mean, honestly, you should just get it yourself and then see the different conclusions that you can get yourself. Um, however... I don't know yet, so we'll figure it out. Anyway, enough explanation, let's go to new game. Uh, my name, what we're just going to stick with my actual name. I'm Alex. Let's do it. Hey! I see an annoying girl running toward me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she totally, like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. That girl is Sayori. Sayori, my neighbor and good friend since we were children. You know, the kind of friend you never see yourself making today. But it just kind of works out because you've known each other for so long. We used to walk to school together one day like this, but starting around high school, she would oversleep more and more frequently. Now I'm getting tired of waiting up. But if she's, going to chase a if she's going to chase after me like this, I almost feel better off running away. However, I just sign idle in front of the crosswalk and let Sayori catch up to me. Ha! Ha! I overslept again. But I caught you this time. Maybe, but only because I decided to stop and wait for you. You said that like you were thinking about ignoring me. That's mean, Alex. Oh, it's weird having anime girls talk to me. Well, if people stare at you for acting weird, then I don't want them to think we're a couple or something. Then I don't want them to think it's way. Fine. Fine. But you did wait for me, after all. I guess you don't have it in you to be mean, even if you want to. Whatever you say, Sayori. Ehehe. <laughs> oh my gosh, we're in an entire dating sim. I know it's going to get weird later, but I, just, I have to go through this first. We cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly spec speckled with other students making their daily com commute. By the way, Alex... I'm going to have the only English name in the game. Everybody else is going to have a Japanese name. Have you decided on a club to join yet? A club? No. I'm a, I don't hang out with anyone. I'm a lonely boy. I told you already, I'm really not interested in joining any clubs. I haven't been looking either. <sighs> That's not true. You told me you would join a club this year. Did, did I? I'm sure it's possible that I did in one of our many conversations where I dismissively go along with whatever she's going on about. Sayori likes to worry a little too much about me when I'm perfectly content just getting by on an average while spending my free time on games and anime. Now, the games I can completely agree with. That and down. Anime. I like. I like. I like me some anime. Don't like me too much anime. I like me some. I like me some Death Note. I like me some Full Metal Alchemist. Preferred over Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood because personally I, just, I think it was better well paced. And, um. I feel like they glossed over a lot of important parts in Brotherhood and just went straight into what they hadn't done yet. Um, like, 
uh, Dragon Ball Z because I grew up with it purely. Um, Soul Eater was pretty good. I watched that like couple, what, what seventh grade. I don't remember it that well, but I remember enjoying it. So, yeah, I like Ghost in the Shell. It's a good one. Avatar doesn't really count. However, I do like it. Avatar: The Last Uh Kira is really good too. Spirited Away. Okay, I guess I like a lot of anime, but I don't spend all my time watching it. Anyway, let's just continue. Uh huh. I was talking about how I'm worried that you won't learn how to socialize or have any skills for college. Your happiness is really important to me, you know. And I know you're happy now, but I'd die at the thought of you becoming a neat in a few years because you're not used to the real world. You trust me, right? Don't make me keep worrying about you. Alright. Alright. I'll look at a few clubs. If it makes you happy. No promises, though. Will you at least promise? Yes, <laughs> sir. Yeah, I guess. I'll promise you that. Oh my gosh. When does it get weird? This is going to be like four hours in until it gets weird, huh? Why do I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl? More than that, I'm surprised I even let myself relent to her. I guess seeing her worry so much about me makes me want to ease her mind at least a little bit, even if she does exaggerate everything inside of her head. Oh, class. Oh, boy. As if I didn't get enough of that already. The school day is ordinary as ever, and it's over before I know it. After I pack up my things, I stare blankly at the wall, looking for an ounce of motivation. Clubs? Sierra wants me to check out some clubs. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. Hello? Sayori? Sayori must have come into the classroom while I was spacing out. I look around and realize I'm the only one left in the classroom. I thought I'd catch you coming out of the classroom, but I saw you just sitting here and spacing out, so I came in. Honestly, you're even worse than me sometimes. I'm impressed. You don't need to wait out for me. If it's going to make you late for your own club. Well, I thought you might need some encouragement, so I thought, you know. Know what? Well, that you could come to my club. Sayori. Yeah? There was no way I'm going to your club. Eh, meanie. Sayori's vice president of the literature club. Doki doki literature club, hold on. Not that I was ever aware that she had any in, in interest in literature. In fact, I'm 99% sure she only did it because she thought it would be fun to help start a new club. Since she was the first one to show interest after the one who proposed the club, she inherited the title vice president. That said, my interest in literature is guaranteed to be even less. Yeah, I'm going to the anime club. Come on, please. Why do you care so much anyway? Well, I kind of told the club yesterday to bring in a new member. And Natsuki made cupcakes and everything. <laughs> Don't make promises you can't keep. I can't tell if Sayori's really that much of an airhead or if she's cunning as to have planned all this out. <sighs> Fine. I'll stop by for a cupcake. Okay? Yes, let's go. Oh, man. And thus, today marks the day I sold my soul for a cupcake. Damn. I mean, worlds are just crazy, yo. One minute you go out for a cupcake, next minute you're selling your soul to Satan. Oh. I dejectedly follow Sayora across the school and upstairs. And now is completely quiet, which kind of freaks me out a little bit. Section of school I rarely visit, being generally used for third year classes and activities. Sayora, so, you full of energy, swings open the classroom door. Everyone, the new member is here. I told you, don't call me a new member. Yeah, I glance around the room. Welcome to the literature club. It's a pleasure meeting you. Sayori always says nice things about you. Seriously? You brought a boy? Way to kill the atmosphere. Ah! Alex. What a nice surprise. Welcome to the club. All words escape me in this situation. This club is full of incredibly cute girls. What are you looking at? If you want to say something, say it. So sorry. Natsuki. Hmm. <laughs> the girl with the sour attitude whose name is apparently Natsuki is one I don't recognize. Her small figure makes me think she's probably a first year. She's also one I make cupcakes according to Sayora. You can just ignore her when she gets moody. Sayora says that quietly into my ear and then turns back toward the other girls. Anyway, this is Natsuki, always full of energy, and this is Yori, the smartest in the club. D don't say things like that. Yori, who appears comparable, comparably more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with people like Sayori and Natsuki. Ah, oh, well, it's nice to meet you both of you. And it sounds like you already know Monica, is that right? That's right. 
It's great to see you again, Alex. Monica smiled sweetly. We do know each other. Well, we rarely talked, but we were in the same class last year. Monica was probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, athletic, so totally out of my league if I actually looked like how I look in real life. Basically. Basically completely out of my league. So at least both my avatar and I can agree on the same age. So having her smile at me so gently feels a little... You, you too, Monica. Chandler! I'll be Chandler. Come sit down, Alex. We made room for you at the table, so you can sit next to me or Monica. I'll get the cupcakes. Hey, I made them. I'll get them. Sorry, I got a little too excited. And how about I make some tea as well? The girl have a few desks arranged to form a table. As you already mentioned, it's been widened so that there's one space... Looks the back of the red space exit Natsuki and Yori walk over to the corner of the room where Natsuki grabs a wrap tray and Yori opens the closet. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Sayori. Natsuki proudly marches back to table tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? Ta-da! Ooh, I don't know what that, how to make that sound. Natsuki lifts the foil off the tray to reveal a dozen white fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. Uh, I've never had to read this much in my entire life. Well, I have had to read this much. I'm not saying I don't read... I, I mean, out loud. Sorry. The whiskers are drawn with icing. Little pieces of chocolate were used to make ears. So cute! I had no idea you were so good at baking, Natsuki. <laughs> well, <laughs> you know. Just hurry and take one. Sierra so grabs one first and Monica, I follow. It's delicious! Sierra talks with her mouth full and has already managed. It's delicious! Sorry. And turn the cupcakes around in my fingers looking for the best angle to take a bite. Natsuki's quiet. I can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. This is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. Why are you thanking me? It's not like a... Haven't I heard this somewhere before? made them for you or anything. Um, I thought you technically did. Sayora said, well, maybe, but not for, y you know, you, dummy. All right. All right. Yeah, if girls actually acted like this in real life, it'd be way easier to figure out who the hell likes you and who doesn't. It's not how reality works, though. No, here's the funny thing. Guys say it's impossibly hard to know when girls like you. Whereas vice versa, girls say it's impossible to know when a guy likes her. It's pretty simple. Um, unless he's a really, really, really nice guy? That just likes chilling with everyone? Or he's gay? There's only two reasons some guy would talk to you that much. Like, expect, no, there's one thing... If, if the guy's like hanging out with you and all your other friends constantly, then he's just your, he's just your pal. He's just your bro. But if he's trying to get one-on-one -on -one time to you, and he's like trying to do it often, like, I don't know, like every other week, twice a week, I don't know. I'm just saying something like that. They're probably into you. It's pretty simple. Guys are retarded. Uh, why am I talking about this? It's not like I know anything about dating. I have a freaking... I'm just a triggered tit, yo. I don't, even, I don't even know what dating is, yo. Anyway, I gave I give up on the Natsuki's weird logic and dismiss the conversation. Yuri returns to the table carrying a tea, seat, tea, 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 tea set. Sorry. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before sitting down a teapot next to the cupcake tray. As long as you have honey, I am all good. You keep a whole tea set in this classroom? Don't worry. The teachers gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Um, I, I guess. I mean, I love reading books. However, I've not, um, I don't usually have tea with them. So I wouldn't relate. Oh, can I just save? I just realized that was a thing you can do. Okay. <laughs> don't let yourself get intimidated. He was just trying to get, trying to impress you. <laughs> That's not. That's some bull crap. Is it reality? Every single girl in this room likes me. My best friend likes me. These three girls like me. That's not how reality works. 
especially the popular girl. She'd be like, uh, hell no, I gotta date me those, those fine-ass boys, those, those thick boys. <laughs> no, but, you know, like, I'm not the type of guys you would want. Um, yeah. I don't know what else to say about that. I insulted your looks away. I meant that, you, you know... I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but I at least enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. Monica raises an eyebrow, then smiles at me. So what made you consider a literature club? Um, I was afraid of this question. Something tells me I shouldn't tell Monica that I was practically dragged her by Sayora. Do I not get any choices? Am I just reading this? Because, like, no, I know how, no, never mind, I know how these work. Got to read like through 50 bajillion pages of dialogue, and then finally you'll get like one decision. Uh, well, I haven't joined any clubs yet, and Sierra seemed really happy here, so that's okay. Don't be embarrassed. I'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? As president of the Literature Club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. Monica, I'm surprised. How come you decide to start your own club? You could probably be a board member for any of the major clubs. Weren't you a leader of the debate club last year? I'm in speech class right now. It's actually not as fun as I thought it would be. A lot of work. <laughs> um. Uh -huh. Well, you know. To be honest, I can't stand all the politics around the major clubs. Feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and publicity and how to prepare for events. I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. And if it encourages others to get into literature, then I'm fulfilling that dream. I mean, I play video games because they're fun, but I also, you know, really enjoy, like, The Last of Us is one of my favorite games of all time. The narrative is superb. I also just love playing any games that have notes, uh, un un unless it's Skyrim, because when I play Skyrim, I really like reading notes. So then I end up sitting in a dungeon for four hours just reading books instead of actually playing the game. It's, it's too much. But, like, in a game like uh, Metro 2033, Metro Last Light... Or Amnesia Dark Descent, where you have notes that like, are a couple pages, but don't take you too long to finish. I love that. I also love reading. Uh, some of my favorite authors. H.P. Lovecraft, Edgar Allan Poe. Um, I love uh, the Percy Jackson series by Rick Rorty. Even though I don't agree with Rick Rorty and his politics, I do like his books. Um, what was it? Uh, anyway, I just, I enjoy reading. So... Uh, I don't know, I'm, this story, this thing's making me do so much, anyway, I'm probably going to do maybe 20 to 30 minutes of these, each video, um, Yuri also nods in agreement, then I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet, must be hard to start a new club, you could put it that way, not many people are very interested in putting out all the effort to start something brand new, especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention, like literature, you have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile, but it makes school events, like the festival, that much more important. I'm confident that we can all really grow this club before we graduate. Right, everyone? Yeah. We'll do our best. You know it! Everyone enthusiastically agrees. Such different girls, all interested in the same goal. Monica must have worked really hard just to find these three. Maybe that's why they were all so delighted by the idea of a new member joining. Though I still don't really know if I can keep up with their level of enthusiasm about literature. So, Alex... What kind of things do you like to read? Well, as I stated before, H.P. Lovecraft, Edgar Allan Poe, uh, Rick Wardian's Percy Jackson series, and the Heroes of Olympus. Um, I like reading the Bible, Christian, which uh, makes me lose subscribers when I see Um But yeah, no, I'm it's my favorite book because it's the most important book. Um... But I absolutely love it, what H.P. Lovecraft is, um, he creates with uh, the outer gods and all these fake beings, but it's, it's, it's very interesting, though. Uh, he's definitely a heavy atheist, but he's, um, he gets creative with it. Um, so, you know, pr props to him for, you know, that, so. I don't know, I don't know what I'm trying to say here. Um, anyway, but yeah, I like reading. Um, 
I don't know if my character, what my character is going to say. Well, uh, considering how little I've read these past few years, I don't have a good way of answering that. Manga? No, I've never read manga, yo. I've only watched anime, so I'm not a true fan. I mutter quietly to myself, half joking. Atsuki's head suddenly perks up. It's like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. Not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her finger. My favorite's usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy world. Oh! Whoa, gosh. I didn't even, I even mention it. Yes, Lord of the Rings is one of my favorite books of all time. Ah, and the movies are just as good, even if they don't do everything exactly the way that they should be, but it's okay. They're probably the most faithful adaptation that we've ever gotten. Um, no, I love, I love, love, love Lord of the Rings. I love Harry Potter. I love H.P. Lovecraft because of the mythos he's created in his, his universe with all these monsters and stuff. And, um, yeah, I love, I, I'm all for that. Yuri might be the one I date. I don't know. Uh, right now, she's the most appealing. Uh, the level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. Yes, exactly! Exactly! You understand. Oh, man. Yeah, no, I very much appreciate everything that J, uh, that, uh, J.R.R. Tolkien was able to accomplish. Um, same with, uh, George R.R. R. Martin creating Game of Thrones and, um, H.P. Lovecraft with the, uh, with the Outer Gods and Neo Lepitep and, um, the Dreamlands and all that. It's fascinating. Telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yes, you are so right, Yuri. Yuri goes on clearly passionate about her reading. She seems so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way her eyes light up that she finds her comfort in, comfort in the world of books, not people. But, you know, I like a lot of things. Stories with deep psycho psych psychological elements usually immerse me as well. Same. Isn't it amazing how a writer can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination? completely throw you for a loop. Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Have you read H.P. Lovecraft? If you say that, you are my waifu, and I will marry you. Uh, I, re I read a hor horror book once. I desperately grasped something I could relate at the minimal level. At this rate, Yuri might as well be having a conversation with a rock. Really? I wouldn't have expected that, Yuri. For someone as gentle as you. I guess you could say that. But if a story makes me think, or takes me to another world, then I really can't put it down. Surreal horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. Ugh, I hate horror. Oh, why's that? Well, I just... Natsu Natsuki's eyes dart over to me for a split second. Never mind. That's right, you usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? But what? What gives you that idea? You left a piece of scrap paper behind last club meeting. It looked like you were working on a poem called Don't Say It Out Loud and Give That Back. Fine, fine. <laughs> your cupcakes, your poems, everything you do is just as cute as you are. Sierra slides up behind Natsuki and puts her hands on her shoulders. I'm not cute. Natsuki, you write your own poems. Uh, well, I, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them sometime? No. Asuki averts her eyes. You wouldn't like them. Ah, not a very confident writer yet. I understand how Natsuki feels. Showing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open to your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities, and showing even the deepest reaches of your heart. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Do you have writing experiences too, Yuri? Maybe if you share some of your work, you can set an example and help Natsuki feel comfortable enough to share hers. Hmm. I guess it's the same for Yuri. Ah, uh, I wanted to read everyone's poems. We all sat in silence for a moment. Okay. I have an idea, everyone. Natsuki and Yuri look quizzically at Monica. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. Then, next time we meet, we'll all share them with each other. That way, everyone is even. Um... Um, mm. yeah, let's do it. Plus, now that we have a new member, I think it will help us all to get a little more comfortable with each other and strengthen the bond of the club. 
Isn't that right, Alex? Right, I'm just checking how the stream is doing. I think because it's not a very complex game, I, we shouldn't have any problems with it actually working. But we'll see how that goes in the future. I'm just going to override that save. What I think I'll do is I'll only do this save for a while to, you know, keep it working. And then I'll do these ones for this for the different endings, maybe. I don't know. Isn't that right, Axe? Monica smiles warmly at me once again. Hold on, there's still one problem. Eh, what's that? Now that we're back to the original topic of me joining the club, I bluntly come forth with what's been on my mind the entire time. I never said I would join this club. Sayori may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made any decision. I still have other clubs to look at and, um... I lose my train of thought. All the girls stare at me with dejected eyes. Yeah, they all look upset. But, but, I'm sorry, I, I, I thought, <laughs> Alex, you, you all, I'm defenseless against these girls. How am I supposed to make a clear decision when it's like this? That is, if writing poems is a price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls. Right. Okay, I've decided then. Join, I know, join the literature club. One by one, the girl's eyes lit up. Because they all want to have bait me, but that's not how reality works. Ugh. You know, I wouldn't mind one of these if they were, like, realistic, and not every girl wanted to, like, date you, and you had to actually, like, try. Because that's how reality works. Yeah, sure. In a, in, a, in a world where everything is easy, yeah, I'd go into a classroom, and every single girl would want me. But that's not how reality works. You gotta work hard. You gotta actively pursue the person you want not in a creepy way like stalker i mean like get to know them spend time with them um but whatever anyway yes i'm so happy sayori so wraps her arms around me jumping up and down sayori so hey hey you really did scare me for a moment if really just came for the cupcake so i would have been super pissed then that makes it official Welcome to the Literature Club. Um, thanks, I guess. Okay, everyone. I think, with that, we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone remember tonight's assignment. Write a poem to bring to the next meeting so we can all share. Monica looks over at me once more. Alex, I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Can I really impress the class star Monica with my mediocre writing skills? I don't even have skills. I, I already feel the anxiety walking up inside me. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit-chat as Yuri and Natsuki clean up their food. Hey, Alex. Since we're already here, do you want to walk home together? That's right, so Yuri and I never walk home together anymore because she always stayed after school for clubs. Sure. Might as well. Yay! With that, the two of us depart the, the club room and make our way home. The whole way my mind wanders back and forth between the four girls. Sayori. Natsuki. Yuri. And of course, Monica. And I'm Chandler. Would I really be happy spending every day after school in a literature club? Perhaps I'll have the chance to go closer to one of these girls. Alright. I'll just need to make the most of my circumstances. I'm sure good for fortunes will find me. And I guess that starts with writing a poem tonight. Time to write a poem. Pick words you think your favorite club members will like. Something good might happen with whoever likes your poem the most. I have to actually write something? Uh, I like philosophy. Does it have to rhyme? Uh, oh, am I just going to write something? Am I, I'm not actually writing anything, so I just have to pick words. Memories, games, cheeks disowned. I like, I like extraordinary. I like that. Play, dream, anime, depression. Fantasy, like, uh, uh, cry, vicious adventure, forgive, whistle, atone, congruent, climax, prayer. Wrath, disaster, agonizing, meager, peaceful, marshmallow, quiet, lazy, marriage, I like marriage. Universe, effluent, lucky, unending, awesome, blanket, amazing, socks, dazzle, twirl, universe. Nibble, passion, sing, pain, treasure, insight, sweet, tragedy. I like, um, passion. 
fireworks, lipstick, flower, graveyard, infallible, excitement, cage, poof, misery, flea. Uh, none of these. I don't really like any of these. Maybe excitement, I guess. Beauty, fluffy, eternity, infinite, skipping, starscape, kitty, skirt, bubbles. Eternity, like that. Charm, cute, fester, uncanny, judgment, shame, pout, sensation, existence. Um, sensation. What does this mean? What is all this? Uh, landscape. Secretive. Music. Heartbeat. Question. Jumpy. Hurt. Warm. Uh, heartbeat. 12 out of 20? Okay. Fickle. Papa. Inferno. Fickle. Papa. Inferno. Anxiety. Hop. Sinus. Lust. Fear. Yes. Laugh together. Scars. Sparkle. Silly. Pink. Chocolate. Heart. Pure. Death. Broken. Friends. Playground. Bunny. Sugar. Frightening. Determination. I like termination. Melancholy, vitality, captive, vacation, portrait, destiny. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch the tiger by the toe. If my mother says so, you are not it. So, melancholy. Incapable, breathe, hope, love. I like, alright, love. Uncontrollable, aura, explode, hopeless, journey. Kiss, I guess. I don't know. Shiny, bounce, alone, dance, empty, happiness, romance. Analysis, Valentine, mouse, smile, whisper, vertigo, waterfall, sunset, time party. Uh, analysis, childhood, vibrant, perfect, despise, heaven sent. Tenuous, heaven sent. Right there, did it, did it, boy. Uh, let me save and end the video here. I hope you all enjoyed this. Oh my gosh, it's been 32 minutes. I hope you all enjoyed this video of Doki Doki Literature Club Part One. If you did enjoy this video, give a thumbs up. Sharing helps out a ton. Don't forget to subscribe. Love you guys, and I will see you in the next video. Bye. So, peace y'all.